So, everybody wants to know about my health. I know there's a lot of people saying, who listens to this shit anyway? And I don't know, but thank you for your fan club, you know. I uh, thank you for my avid listeners that miss me, but here I be. All right. Uh, I've been going through it for the past couple of months, and I'm sorry if there was, you know, some avid listeners out there that didn't get they went real with Robo. So, I'm about to get real. Okay, first of all, everybody knows I'm a chronic pain patient, and I'm also an armchair detective. I enjoy, I, I enjoy a good mystery, and I enjoy knowing why, who, what, how, when, all that. So, a few months ago, I was told by my doctor that and since I'm not under oath, but y'all know I don't tell the, tell the lies that most people tell because I have no reason to lie to anybody because I don't care about anybody enough to lie to them. So my, my doctor, she was like, well, you know, every time I ask for a PA for this certain type of medication, it always gets denied. Well, the doctor before her, she said, yeah, you know, you need to uh, try these two different medications before you try that one, you know, before you could get a PA for that one. Well, it happens to be one of the medications I'm allergic to because it's pure morphine. Well, you know, I like to I like to amuse my doctors by working with them on my health care. I'm not going to amuse them with my death nor reaction that could cause my death. So that was an automatic no-no, and it's on the books that I'm allergic to morphine. I've had some really negative responses to morphine. All that aside, the other one is pure oxycodone. Now, I don't know whether I built up a resistance to it or my body just will not digest it or whatever, but it's like drinking a glass of water. It does nothing for my pain. It does nothing for me. And quite frankly, it makes me tired, lethargic, and stupid. So, you know, I told my other doctor that, and she was like, yeah, that's not a good medication for you. So going into this doctor that I have, that I'm talking about, uh, I'm going to let her, her name go because, you know, I don't like putting people on front street. Not until the case is handled. But, you know, talking to her, she said, I never get a PA for that. And I'm like, with my medical history, it shouldn't be that hard. You know, so then popped into my mind, why? And everybody knows I'm an empath. So I'm sitting there, I'm feeling some kind of lie toward me. Like she covering up something. And I'm like, okay. So then, you know, I said, well, prescribe it to me and try and get a PA and we'll try it that way. And she said, fine, fine. And finally, after a week of not getting my PA, I just said, screw it, I'm going to pay for it. The medication is called Hysingla. And Hysingla ER, it works for me. One pill a day, I'm good. The whole day, like, miraculously, okay? The first week, I was, like, puking and tripping over myself and, you know, doing the get-to-know-your-med-and-your-body syndrome. As we all know, what happens when you try new medications. But then it started panning out. And I was like, wait, this is great. I can move. I'm not hurting. You know, I have my energy. I'm ready to go. I'm good. You know, and I was excited about this. And I told her about it. And she was like, well, I never, you know, we never could get a PA for that. And I'm like, well, why not? You know, my medical history. And then on top of that. What's going on? So I calls up my insurance company, and I'll say, why wouldn't you give her a PA? And they were all, oh, well, because she didn't ask for one. I'm like, wait, what? Wait, what you say? You say what now? She never asked for one. I'm like, okay, so the next time, you know, I went in, I confronted her with this. And she said, no, that's not true. And I'm like, yeah, like, I'm going to believe you over a state of Tennessee. I'm not going to do it. I'm not stupid. But, you know, I let it go and I said, well, 
what could I do to make your job easier? She said, well, get them to send us the forms. And so I said, okay. So when I got home, I called them up. You know, called my insurance up. I said, can you please send them the form? And all of a sudden, I get back in the mail that my PA was denied. And I'm like, wait, why is it denied? My, if they talked to her, she would have put down my medical history. You know, they would have known. Blase, blase. And so I called him up again, and I was like, why was it denied? Well, because she never gave back the forms. I'm like, wait, what? Okay, so all this time, the medication that I was on was steadily dwindling down because of the new laws and everything like that. And so I said, well, if she's lying about that, what else is she lying about? Because you know, you know how we women are, okay? And I've had about enough of this stupid chronic pain bullshit with motherfucking doctors that don't want to help. Like, if you don't want to help pain patients, then don't fucking accept them. Period. Dot. It's as easy as that. Send them to someone who will. And so I'm sitting there and I'm looking up these laws, the federal laws and the Tennessee laws. And it says that I'm exempt. And I'm like, wait, why is she trying to cut my medication down then? What's really going on? Am I having bad piss tests or something? I'm not taking anything else. I mean, what's going on? There's no explanation. So I asked her to explain. Well, you know, um, if this and that. And she started rambling off, which everybody knows is a liar. When they start talking real fast and getting their shit bumbled up, that's lying. So I'm sitting there, okay, why would you, why would, if it's against the law, like you say, why would you prescribe me twice as much pure hydrocodone in the Hysingla per day than you would my regular medication of hydrocodone and tramadol? I'll get it. The numbers don't add up. And if you know me, y'all know I love math. So I'm trying to add up the numbers and I'm not getting it. And what broke the mold, this is this, this, this what broke the mold on me and made me look for some new doctors, okay? This is what broke the mold. She, I went in and she said, you have to piss test every week now. And I'm like, um, according to the medical laws of my medical insurance, you cannot piss test me more than twice a year. Now, I know that one. And she was like, well, no, it, it's for our own safety. Well, you paying for that shit. I'm not. I'm letting you know that right now. I will pee in a cup all you want, but you paying for that. I'm not. I'm not. She said, okay, you could either have your three hydrocodone a day or your four tramadol a day. And I'm like, what? Like, I've been prescribed this, you know, the lowest form of any kind of medicine because I'm like extremely paranoid about medicine. So I always take the very, very lowest that I can. And I'm like, wait, um, those two together don't even break, don't even break the law. I mean, they don't even break the law together. What are you talking about? She said, you can have one or the other. I've had enough. This is a straw that broke the camel bag. This is the straw that broke the camel bag, folks. I get a phone call from a lawyer, a medical lawyer for my insurance company asking me why they, my doctor's office won't release my medical records. I'm like, what? Huh? They, they, what? Like, how, how am I supposed to know? So now I've got to go tomorrow and pay for my own medical records so that I could get the care that I need because 
my former doctor's office now it is, won't comply to state regulations, won't comply to chronic pain patients' laws, and won't give an explanation for what's going on. You see where I'm going with this, folks? And that's why I've been gone, is because right now I'm without medication, which is cool. I don't mind. It happens. I deal with the pain when it comes. I deal with that. You know, I at least got a little bit of hope now. You know, because everybody looking into this situation. I got a little hope now that maybe in the future I'm going to get some relief. And that's okay. I could deal with it. But honestly, I have tried to work with my doctors. Every doctor I've had. Every doctor. If they say, you need to try this, you need to try that, you need to do this, you need to do that, cool, I'm down. I'm with it. But what really hurt my feelings is she knows my medical history. She knows what medications I've been on. And I found out she prescribed me something I've already told her that I cannot take because it dehydrates me. Well, this time, it didn't dehydrate me. This time, it made me pee blood. So I stopped taking it immediately. I implore anybody that's listening to this that is a chronic pain patient that has a good doctor to appreciate that doctor. Because there was only one doctor on this earth that was the best doctor ever. That cared about her patients. And that was my doc. She was literally a Navy medic. And I have searched far and wide for her. And I can't find her. That doctor cared more about her patients then she cared about making excuses because she was scared of something. So I'm imploring you doctors, senators, president, whoever. There are people out here like me. We suffer every day. We deal with this madness every day. The least you could do is look upon us as human individuals and not how you feel we are. Because if you lived with a degenerative disc disease like I have, where it's inoperable, and there's nothing to do to help it, and that my spine is going to grind itself to nothingness, if you lived with fibromyalgia, incurable, if you lived with osteoarthritis or anyone you love lived with any of those you'd understand what pain is never mind all three of them so don't tell me I'm not in pain don't tell me I'm just looking for drugs don't tell me anything when I'm willing to work with you for a way to cure these diseases to help these diseases and don't fucking lie to me I hate liars so maybe next time you guys get into the Senate and all that and you start talking about the opioid crisis and the medication crisis, you'll remember the ones that suffer. And until then, honestly, you can kiss my ass because you don't know how the fuck I feel. You don't know what pain is. You don't know nothing that we go through. I think there's only one senator up there who survived polio that understands what the hell we go through every day. You want to help us? Change the laws to where they help. Not punish people with a medical history of being in severe pain and the future of no hope. My diseases will never get better. They'll never be cured. 
the pain will be there. It will get worse, and it'll be there till I die. And that's what I've been doing for the past two months, is fighting for my right not to be in pain. And that's real with Robo.